What's been holding you back? What has dictated to you for too long? As I wrap this up, and thank you for your very quiet patience, I want to show you what else is under the cloth. Now you're going to wonder, what on earth is she bringing out? What I'm bringing out is this. A balloon. In many ways, I wish I could have had one of these for every one of you. And I wish I was doing this outside. Because what I want to do, very simply, and it may look quite silly to you, but I think, if you bear with me, you'll understand. I no longer have handcuffs. I'm not attached to anything. I can truly let it go. I wonder what it is I would write on the tag. What am I going to let go? What tonight are you going to let go? You don't have to tell me. You have to tell him. That from tonight, I refuse to allow the unplugged power of Satan to define my life. I am sure there are a hundred stories here. And some of them, you've been living handcuffed for so long, you've adapted to it and you don't even remember when it started. Tonight, on Resurrection Sunday, I want you to let it go. You ready? I want you to visualize this as whatever's held you back going. In your mind's eye, right on the tag. It's not going to go very high. It doesn't have to. It's a symbol of what's happening. Are you ready? Three, two, one. In a moment, I'm going to ask if there is something that tonight you have said, enough, I'm taking the handcuffs off. I'm going to ask you to make a public declaration and come forward. I want to pray with you and with Keith and Gareth as well. Please understand this very, very carefully. I am not saying that if you're coming out, you're telling everyone in the world that you've been abused. No. Please, no, no, no. It might be true, but this is not a forum for counselling. This is a forum to say, tonight I'm going to live in resurrection power. Tonight it's going to make a difference. Tonight I said, enough, I am not living. I am never going to be like Tamar. I'm not going to live my life desolate. I'm going to live my life in the power of the resurrection. What did Gareth say on Friday night? Shake it off. Shake it off. Get rid of it. And do it and come to the front. Do you understand what I'm asking you? Because you can sit there and say, oh, I'm doing it in my heart. Yeah, you could. Who are you giving the power back to then if you try and do that? If you're taking the power back that God says, do it tonight, you know if you need to come forward. May we just stand. I've been asking God for a week to change this sermon because it was a tough one to preach but it's what I believe God wanted me to share. If Carolyn is around and can come and just play softly that would be telepathic. (laughs) Wonderful. What you are declaring if you walk to the front tonight is simply I have something I need to let go. 
and we will pray with you and just say, you're ready to let go and agree together. That's, that's it. Yes? It doesn't need to be complicated, but it doesn't mean it's any less powerful. So if you want to come and let something go, do it right now.